Family Theater presents Joan Leslie and Grant Williams. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents Roadshow, starring Grant Williams. And now, here is your hostess, Joan Leslie. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family theater urges you to pray, pray together as a family. And now to our transcribed drama, Roadshow, starring Grant Williams as Charlie. Hey, Charlie, is that you? Yeah. Who's that? I saw the light in your garage. Pete. Hey, how's everything? Oh, good. Did you just get in? Yeah. Yeah, we stopped off for dinner in Ventura. Been pretty hot here, huh? Oh, yeah. 90, 95 the last few days. Did that Bronson kid keep watering the lawn? Oh, yeah. Every evening. Six o'clock. Front and back. Good. Good kid. Hey, where are the girls? In the house. They're dead. We drove almost 400 miles today. Yeah? Hey, hey, can I give you a hand with the bags? No, I... I'm just going to bring in this one with the pajamas and toothpaste. Hey, you know, you sound kind of tired. Yeah, I, I'll i get the rest out tomorrow. Yeah, well, how was it? Hmm? The vacation. Did you have a good time? Oh, great. I think that's a fine choice of words, great. Something that's great can be long of duration or intensity, excellent and delightful, or high and swollen as of a body of water. Hmm. Great word, great. Means absolutely nothing. Long of duration or intensity. Well, 1,200 miles, but it only took a week. Incredible. Only a week. A week ago this morning, and we were starting out on the road to Bakersfield. That was going to be the first stop. Breakfast in Bakersfield. Is everybody happy? Yes, sir. I'll say. Oh, I tell you, the way I've been looking forward to this. Seven days without having to look at a typewriter. Now, don't even talk about it. Not one word. That's the angle. For the next seven days, no one even mentions the word plot, story, character, or script. Deal? Deal. So, you know, I'm getting hungry. Me too. Where are we stopping for breakfast? Bakersfield. Where they had the earthquake? That was five years ago. Hey, hey, here comes the sign. Everybody read. New Hall. Bakersfield? 32 miles. Is that all? To Gorman. Not Gorman. Turn right three miles. That's to New Hall. I don't want Gorman or New Hall. I want Bakersfield. Well, I didn't say anything about... I saw the word. B-A something. Well, isn't Gorman about halfway? Well, that's from Los Angeles. Okay, honey, get out the map. Oh, Charlie. If Gorman's halfway, and it said 32 miles, and 2 times 32 is 64. And when two lines intersect, the opposite angles are equal. But I'd like to look at the map. You know how I hate those things. This is things. the little book from the car club. All you have to do is open the page in front and follow the line up to Bakersfield. <sighs> it's not like the big road map. Go on, it's simple. Open the front page. All right. Hey, what's it say? Uh, it says Bakersfield. No, no, I mean the number. There's a little number near it. What's the number? I can count at least seven numbers, and they're all different. Just below the word Bakersfield is a line leading up from Los Angeles. And on the line, there's a number. What's the number? Oh, oh, uh, 22. 22 miles? Well, that's closer than we thought. Not 22 miles. That's the page number. What? Turn to page 22 in the book. That, that'll have the map of Bakersfield. Charlie, you said it was going to be simple. It is simple. Betsy could do it. The book is written for idiots. Oh, thanks, thanks. Well, I am not an idiot, so it won't help me much. Just turn to page 22, will you? That's all there is to it. Believe me, it gives the mileage and everything. All right, all right. Spend the whole trip with my nose in a map. 22. You got it? 22. You find Bakersfield? Well, wait a minute. Right there. Where? Top of the page. Well, it's almost off the page. You got it now? Yes. All right. 
Now, there's two sets of numbers. Charlie. Will you wait a minute? Oh, there's more than that. For our purposes, there are only two sets. Now, just everyone calm down. One set of numbers are inside circles, and the others are right next to the circles. You see them? Oh, this is insane. Also, there's a set of numbers inside squares and another outside. Ignore the squares. I'm doing my best. Oh, all the funny women are on the road today. Got a zero outside the circle next to Bakersfield. What's that mean? Simply that Bakersfield is zero miles from Bakersfield. Charlie, did they charge you for this map? That's just the way they indicate the mileage from one place to another. Now, look at the number inside the circle next to the zero. The one next to Bakersfield? That's right. 43. That's the number inside the circle? 43. That's right. There you are. That's the mileage. Bakersfield is 43 miles. Oh. From where? What? From where is Bakersfield 43 miles? From the where on the map there. Oh, fascinating. Now, wait a minute. Without this, we could get lost. From the other zero, that's where. Down at the bottom. 43 miles from the other zero outside the circle. The zero outside the circle is next to Bakersfield. Then the zero inside the circle. If it's not one, it's got to be the other. Common sense will now, tell you minute, that. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are we? We're going through a town. Oh, hey, look for signs. Then we can measure. The zero inside the circle is next to Gordon. Never mind the map. Look for signs oh, in the road. Oh, I can't find my glasses. Betsy, here comes one on your side. Yeah, I see it. Can you read the words? Yeah. You are now leaving Bakersfield. So we had breakfast in Tulare, except that it was lunch. Actually, about those maps, I know you don't need all that stuff. A big highway like 99 is well marked, but I just like to know where I'm going, that's all. It's half the enjoyment of the trip, I say. I mean, well, there's a lot of lore and legend in this section of the country, and after all, how many chances do you get? Like, take Sacramento, where we stopped off to look at the Capitol building the next morning on our way to Tahoe. Now, to me, stuff like that is something you, you ought to make time for. Although I... Well, I guess it was my fault about what happened with the governor. Oh, isn't this a beautiful old building? Yeah. Look up there, inside the dome. Mm. It'd be a long fall. Well, no one's going to fall. There's no one up there. I said it would be. Violence. Maybe it is all this television and I'm an unwilling cat's born or vast Dear, conspiracy. Dear, I don't see anyone like us. What? So, dressed up. Aren't you hot in that suit coat? I'm very comfortable. Will the governor really be there? Of course. Didn't you read the sign? He receives visitors every day at noon. You mean just anybody? Well, I don't think they'll let you in if you're carrying a loaded Dear, rifle. Dear, they are going in. Okay, okay. Look, they're closing the door. We'll get in. Now, don't panic. Maybe there just isn't any more room. Will you please just leave it to me? Yes? Uh, I'm Mr. Blackwell. I, I hope we aren't too late to see the governor. Uh, Mr. Who? Uh, Blackwell. We were just stopping through on our way from Los Angeles. Why, of course, Mr. Blackwell. The governor will be delighted. Follow me, please. Uh, don't we have to go in there? No, that won't be necessary. This way, please. What is this? You tell me. Maybe he does remember you. When did you arrive from Los Angeles, Mr. Blackwell? Uh, last night. Oh, you must be on a very tight schedule. Well, I wouldn't say exactly tight. Uh, right in here, please. And Mrs. Blackwell? Thank you. Young lady? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just make yourselves comfortable. The governor won't be long. Well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back oh, in the gym. Oh, not at all. No rush. Well, now, isn't he charming? Good looking, too. Uh, a little oily, if you ask me. You know, I think it's just remarkable that the governor's remembered you from so long. Well, actually, it's been less than two years. Does he know you're a writer? Well, come to think of it, I did mention my line of work. We just chatted for a moment. Well, maybe he's seen your name on television. I don't suppose it's impossible. I don't know how he could have missed it with that one show about the Navy that kept running and running and running. Well, you don't have to watch it, young lady. Oh, I think it's good. In fact, anyone who can sit through Love Me Tender three times where they get off... Somebody's coming. Mr. Blackwell. Well, that didn't take long. I don't know how to begin apologizing. Nothing to apologize for. It's no one's fault but my own. But how can I say it? I I mistook you for someone else. For someone else? The governor's been expecting a Mr. George Blackwell from Washington, and he's just arrived. Oh, well, my my gosh. Some kind of a civilian defense official. It's a very natural mix-up. My name is Charles Blackwell. We were just passing through. I I can't begin to tell you how sorry From Los Angeles. I'm a writer myself. You may have seen my name on television. Oh, I'm sure I have indeed. Yes, George Blackwell. Uh, Charles. George is the other one. Oh, yes. (laughs) From Washington. This thing has got me so flustered. I pride myself that this doesn't often happen. Listen, forget it. 
it. We understand perfectly. Well, because of my blundering, you missed the public audience with the governor. Oh, that's all right. Daddy's met him before, anyhow. Oh, are you acquainted with the governor? Just once we shook hands. Well, then the least I can do is see that the acquaintance is renewed. No, really. Now, just now he's in conference with Mr. Blackwell. No, no, no. No, you mustn't bother. Well, Charlie, if we've waited this long... We have to be in Tahoe by four o'clock, so thank you very much, sir, but perhaps the next time we come through... Oh, but gee, the ...is a very busy man, and we're on a tight schedule, so everyone this way. Well, again, I... Sincerely, sir. Not at all. We enjoyed every minute of it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, young lady. Bye. Goodbye. Gee, I wanted to meet... Just keep walking. Charlie. And lower your voices. What came over you all of a sudden in there? We're well enough out of it. I count myself lucky. What? In any discussion with a governor, the subject of politics is bound to come up, isn't it? Well, what if it does? What if it does? Helen, I just remembered in the last election I voted against him. So, Sacramento. Of course, technically, I don't count that as part of the vacation. We were just sort of on our way, so to speak. It was Lake Tahoe we were waiting for, me especially. I remember when I was a kid, I used to go up to the North Woods in Wisconsin. Tall pine trees, spring-fed lakes, boating, swimming, aquaplaning. And it's said in the brochure there was aquaplaning at Tahoe. I couldn't wait. At 10 o'clock the next morning, I was down at the pier, rearing a go. Oh, just look how clear that water is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks cold. It's bound to be a little cold. See all that snow on the mountaintops? You Mr. Blackwell? Yeah. Yeah, you the boy who's going to handle the boat? Uh Uh-huh. Which kind do you want? Which kind of what? Water skis. You want to go water skiing, don't you? No. No, aquaplaning. You don't want to go water skiing. No, I want to go aquaplaning. Don't you have an aquaplane? Just water skis. There's no place around here we could rent an aquaplane. Just water skis. Oh, go ahead, Dad. I'll bet it's fun. Okay, okay. Where's the skis? Uh, Here, in the locker. Oh, um, is it all right if we ride along in the boat? I guess so. Sure. Here, just put your feet in the rubber things. Okay. Then, uh, how do we get started? Um, well, you have to be in the water. Yeah, I figured on that. You get into the shallow water here, and after you got the skis on, you take hold of the rope and I pull you. That's all there is to it? Well, it helps if you keep your knees together and lean forward. Uh Uh-huh, good enough. Well, when you get in the water, I'll throw you the rope. Okay. Is it all right for us to get in the boat? Sure. Well, here I go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it cold, dear? Ooh. I, I, I wonder how the, how the fish can stand it. Here's the rope. Well, wait. Well, wait. Ooh. No. No, no, no. I, I'm not ready yet. Just warming up the engine. Boy, b- 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 boy, this, this is the life, huh, kids? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's such a beautiful morning. I'm surprised we're the only ones down here. Well, I, I'm not. Are you ready? Oh, wait. I, I got one ski turned around. Dear. Are you sure you want to do this? Listen, listen, listen. My only chance of getting out of the water is to stand up on these. I, I got to take it. Say when. Knees together. Lean forward. Okay. Here we go. Uh, hey, okay. On, Wait. Wait. Down. Knees Get together. Down. Down. Faster. Down. Faster. Down. Faster. Down. I'm, I'm almost up. Oh, oh. hey, my feet are spreading apart. Wait. Wait. Oh. Let go of the rope. Oh. <coughs> oh. Are you all right, dear? Oh. Never <coughs> better. You were really up there for a moment. Uh, which moment was that? You want to try it again, mister? Certainly. Certainly, I I think I got the idea now. Charlie, it looks awfully strenuous. Uh, don't be silly. I swing the boat around, son. I, I need a little exercise. <coughs> After all, what's a vacation for? Great place, Tahoe. We plan to go back again next year. Wonderful for kids. Tall pines, spring-fed lake. Boating, water skiing. That's for kids, too, that water skiing. But I'm glad I tried it. I say if you don't try things, you're not living. 
Of course, Helen was right. It, it was a little strenuous. But it was about the only athletic activity I could figure on since we planned to spend our last two days driving to San Francisco, just taking it easy and seeing the sights. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. The guidebook says it's eight and about a quarter mile long. Isn't that amazing, Charlie? What? Oh, isn't your ear any better? No, it'll be all right. Just some water in it. What did you say? It says in the guidebook that the Oakland Bay Bridge, this one... Yes? It runs for eight and one quarter miles. Oh, we've gone farther than that. No, Daddy, that's how long it is. Yeah, it won't be long now, honey. You better forget it, dear. Mom, is it really all right for us to go in the hotel looking like this? Well, I don't think so, but you heard your father. It's not so embarrassing for a man. We could change in a gas station. Uh, here's where we turn off. Uh, watch for Market Street. Charlie, can you hear me? Yeah. Betsy and I don't want to go through the lobby dressed in shorts and babushkas. The lady at the travel agency said it was a very plush hotel. Listen, this is California. Here's Market Street. Good, good. Charlie, it's different in San Francisco. The women all wear hats. Flats? Hats. Who's going to look at your feet? On the head. Hats. Betsy, watch for Mason Street. For what? Mason, Mason. Charlie, listen to me. This place is supposed to be like the, the Blackstone in Chicago or the, or the Drake. The what? The Drake. Oh, if you just stop Helen, somewhere. I'll do the driving if you don't mind. What? And when it's time to stop, I know to use the brake. I didn't say brake. Well, just see that you don't. I've gotten us this far without any trouble. All I said was Betsy and I would like to stop somewhere and dress up a little. You've forgotten what happened in Sacramento with the governor? That was your hat started all the trouble. Here's Mason Street. What about it? You wanted to turn here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charlie, we are going to arrive just as everybody's checking in or out, and the lobby will be filled with people. I told you we had reservations. That's not what I mean. I even mailed a deposit. All the women are going to be wearing mink stoles, and we'll look like a bunch of gypsies. Look, this is a very nice hotel. That's just what I'm saying. If they have any gypsies, it'll be in the tea room. I didn't say they would have gypsies. I'm not deaf. You said gypsies. I said we would look like gypsies compared to everyone else. We're coming to the top of the hill. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Oh, no. I knew it. What? Parked out in front. Black Cadillacs. We're chauffeurs. We'll just ease into the driveway. Now, let me handle everything. Look at those women standing under the marquee. Hats. They've probably been to a wedding or something. Daddy, I'm not getting out of this car. What? Neither of us is going to budge. We've even got gloves. Now, wait a minute. This is a democracy. Then why do we have to arrive looking like the proletariat? Here comes the doorman. I won't look at him. I won't. I Charlie, won't. Charlie, wild horses aren't going to get us into that lobby. All right. All right. I'll think of something. Would you mind pulling around to the side, sir? Uh, look, if you're going to try and tell us that deliveries are generally made in the rear... Oh, no, no, sir. Just so we can keep this lane clear for the other cars. Oh, if well, you leave the keys in the ignition, sir, I'll be happy to take care of it for you. Well, that's very generous of you. We are not getting out in front of those fur-bearing women. But on second thought, perhaps if you'll tell me where the garage is, where, well, a little mussed up from the long drive. Why, certainly, sir. I can arrange everything. Just around the corner, to the right. The entrance is at the street level. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. Uh, if I might have the name, please, sir. Uh, Blackwell. Mr. and Mrs. and daughter. I'll send a boy down for the bags, Mr. Blackwell. You can take the basement elevator directly to your suite. That's very nice. Oh, uh, if I might have your first name and address, sir. Oh, uh, Charles, Los Angeles. Mm-hmm, Charles... Charles um... L., California. Uh, Charles L. Blackwell, that's very well, sir, yes, sir. Uh... Charles L. Blackwell? Now, look, if you want any identification... Oh, no, 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 no. I've got my driver's sir. license. Well, I, uh, I suppose you'll consider it an I know we look a little outdoorsy, but I actually have a reservation. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I, I, you see, I was going to ask, but by any chance, do you write for television? Huh? Well, uh, yes. He certainly does. That's all he does. And he's the best in the business. Now, girl... Charles L. Blackwell. Why, I've seen your name on the screen dozens of times. Really? Have you? On the screen? Did you see the one he did about the Navy? Oh, indeed, I have. Well, of course, it's been repeated a few well, times. Well, it's still my favorite. About the Admiral and the young Marine who's been wounded. I think it's the most exciting thing. Especially at the end when they're waiting for the planes to come back. In some ways, I must admit, it drags a little. Oh, no, well, sir. Not for a minute. Just in the opening. 
The opening's one of the best parts. You're right, young lady, because you don't know what's happening. And that holds your interest. Oh, I'll admit that was the idea in doing it that way, but... Oh, Mr. Blackwell, you have nothing to apologize for in the way you handle that opening. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but I think we're holding up the line. Oh, what of it? You're just a lot of cattle. Believe me, sir, it's a pleasure to meet you in the flesh. Well, that's about the only way you could meet me, huh? <laughs> I write a little comedy now and, and Mr. Blackwell, I've wanted to ask you... I'm interested in writing myself, and I've got an idea for a script. And they say the public never reads credits. So, maybe it wasn't all peaches and cream, what with the road maps and the aquaplaning, not to mention the broken radiator hose after I'd spent $48 two days before we left for a complete motor tune-up. But I mean complete. Oil change, lube, new points, adjust the brakes, and then, pst, just outside San Luis Obispo, broken radiator hose. So, okay, it wasn't all smooth sailing, but if you were to ask me, like Pete has just now here in the garage... Well, how was it? Hmm? The vacation. Did you have a good time? Oh, great. Just, well... Well, you know, really great. This is Joan Leslie again. We all admire those who are willing to sacrifice themselves to help others, those who are generous and unselfish. A kind deed is more than the good that is done at the moment, for kindness is something that is passed on from one person to another and can go on circulating through the world. People who are cheerful and self-sacrificing are giving to others an inspiration that is passed from one generation to another, an example that can inspire men and women everywhere. And in a home where parents are thoughtful and unselfish, where children are appreciative and thankful and generous, there's a true happiness, despite the disappointments and the difficulties of daily life. That's the way every home should be, the way our homes will be if we have started the daily practice of family prayer. Because with God's help, with God's blessing, the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you transcribed Roadshow, starring Grant Williams. Joan Leslie was your hostess. Others in our cast were Lillian Bayeth, Peter Votrian, Gayan Kelly, Herb Vigran, and Howard McNear. The script was written and directed for Family Theater by John T. Kelly, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program, by the mutual network which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our Family Theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lafrano expressing the wish of Family Theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to be with us next week when Family Theater will present The Man Who Really Wrote Stardust. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in Hollywood. This is Mutual, the world's largest network.